recently the media has again raised questions about the predominant mode of transmission of SARS-CoV-2 and this was prompted primarily by a couple of commentaries that have been uh, published in scientific journals and one was a commentary in clinical infectious diseases and in this commentary uh, the authors uh, raised the concern about the possibility of airborne spread and the main paper that they looked at um, that they felt supported this claim was uh, actually about a outbreak that occurred in a restaurant. And this, was, this outbreak has, was actually published in two different journals. Um, and the outbreak actually described uh, a cluster of cases um, at three different tables. And those tables were adjacent to each other. Um, so there were three uh, people at one table and a couple of people at another table and then a third table that was also affected. And interestingly, although the, uh, the tables were all adjacent to each other, they were more than two meters apart, um, the, the patrons at the table. And so the authors felt that because these patrons were greater than two meters apart, um, that might support the possibility of airborne spread of SARS-CoV-2. Although certainly the authors also uh, do acknowledge the fact that droplet spread may have contributed and certainly some of these patrons were not more than two meters apart. And I think at the end of the day, it doesn't actually provide a huge amount of evidence to say absolutely this was slam dunk airborne uh, transmission. And I think we can certainly see how uh, it's possible that there may have just been droplet spread between these three tables that were all adjacent to each other. People may have gotten up um, during their meal and so maybe been a little bit closer to those uh, people at the adjacent tables. And I think the other thing that you know, goes against airborne spread is that there were 13 other tables on the same floor in this restaurant and uh, at those tables there was no transmission. So the tables that were not adjacent um, did not seem to see any transmission. And really that is the main study that seems to have prompted this kind of re-initiated re look at um, airborne spread we can see that healthcare workers actually have a lower positivity rate than the general population, which would suggest to us that what we're currently doing is working um, and it's what we need to continue to do. And when we see issues of exposure, it's usually around situations where people are not wearing PPE uh, as, it, as uh, recommended. And so I think that um, currently what we, can do better is just to do the same things um, with intention and um, be very cognizant of putting PP on and taking it off. At the end of the day, what our main goal is, um, is to obviously protect healthcare workers and patients. And currently we think the best way to do this is uh, by adhering to our current protocols. Together, we do amazing things every day.